everybody. I want to give you a quick update on the mini PC, the garage office build. Uh, if you haven't seen my garage office tour, I'm going to link that in a card right now. So check that out in the top right hand corner of the video. This is the PC that will be out here, at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, this was an extreme budget build. I picked this up for $60 on eBay. The PC, that is. It came with 8 gigs of RAM, an i5, and a 320 gig hard drive. Also came with a uh, licensed copy of Windows 11 Pro. So really good deal in my opinion. Everything is functioning great. I took it apart. There wasn't much dust at all. So they had kind of refurbed this or at least cleaned it out. Uh, and then they did a fresh install or out of the box experience of Windows 11 Pro. And it looks like they got rid of the previous version. I don't see a Windows old folder or anything like that. So that's great. So what have I done with it since then? I got a $20, 256 gigabyte M2 drive, and I got uh, two 16 gig DDR4 memory modules so that I can max this thing out with 32 gigs of RAM. And that cost me an additional $50. So we're 60 bucks for the PC, 20 bucks for the M2, 50 bucks for the RAM. We're looking at about $130 uh, all in, and we have a very nice PC, obviously not a gaming PC, not to say you couldn't game on it. I'm sure you could run a lot of retro games for sure. Uh, but a very nice office PC for $130 with, again, with a licensed copy of Windows. I don't think you can really beat that. All right, so I just want to give you guys a quick little uh, tour of the PC. It's very, performs very well. Everything's very snappy on here. Uh, and then I have two applications. These are some go-tos. Uh, if you're in IT, you probably know about these, CPU-Z. This is, these are both just to show you uh, a little more information, detailed information on your computer's hardware. And then Speccy. I think I like Speccy a little more. It's just easier to, the, the layout makes more sense to me, but they're both solid programs. So let's take a look at Speccy. Here's a summary view. Shows our operating system. We're running Windows 11 Pro 64-bit. CPU, we have the i5 6600T, 2.7 gigahertz. It's nice and chill right now, 51 degrees Celsius. And that is a um, a Skylake. It's in the Skylake family for the uh, generation of processor. RAM, like I said, we max this thing out at 32 gigs for 50 bucks. Not too bad. Um, this is DDR4, and it's not the fastest RAM. It's 2400, but it'll definitely get the job done for me. Motherboard. This is the mini, so we're running the HP 829A U3E1. Here's just the built-in graphics. I have two 27-inch monitors connected. Um, the USB-C port in the front is not video enabled. I was gonna try to hook up my TV as well to that, but uh, ended up just hooking the TV up to the Raspberry Pi, so that kind of works out. Uh, for storage, like I said, it came with the, uh, I guess this is actually a larger, I think it on eBay it said it was 320. It looks like it's maybe a 500 gig. Um, just a spinning disk SATA drive, so nothing fast there, but it works for a, a secondary storage drive. And then I did clone that. I used MacRim Reflect to clone the uh, larger drive, which had the installed OS, onto the brand new M2 drive, which again I picked up for 20 bucks. No optical drives, and then audio, just the built-in audio stuff. I am wearing my new headphones now. Um, those connect via Bluetooth, but they also connect via 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, USB dongle, which gives you a lot better performance than Bluetooth. So if you want to drill down into any of these, if you're not familiar with this program, it gives you a little more information about each category. I shouldn't say a little bit. It gives you a lot more information about each category. So like CPU, it'll tell you the L1, L2, L3 cache, give you a lot of good information on all the different cores, memory information. You see I've got two, two slots in there. Got them both populated, DDR4, 32 gigs. There's some info about the motherboard. If you guys have never checked out Speccy, uh, recommend you check it out. Or let me know if you use something other than CPU-Z or Speccy for your hardware information. So I'll just allow you guys time as I scroll here so you can check this out. Let me know what questions you guys might have about my uh, $60 PC, or I guess $130 all-in PC. All right, guys. So that is the uh, hardware and the specs for the 
garage budget build. Uh, another thing I did was I put a RDP session here on my desktop. Now with this, I can connect to my um, my beefy box in the house where I'm running a Ryzen 7 7700X, 7, 64 gigs of RAM, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 1070 Ti. The thing's a beast, so if I do need to do a little more heavy lifting, uh, maybe some video editing where I'm doing a, a large video or something like that, I can always just RDP into that PC in there. And I do have RDP RAM hooked up and working, so I can do that without disrupting uh, my wife if she happens to be using that PC in there. So here's an example of just me RDPing into that. I'll I'll use both monitors, so you're only going to see the second monitor here. But here's Specky running on my um, home office build inside of the house. So as you see, this one's a beast. Windows 11 Pro again, and then we've got the Ryzen 7700X. 8 core, 16 threads, 64 gigs of DDR5 memory on this guy. And then we've got the Tomahawk B650 Wi-Fi. And then I've got the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. And I've got a ton of storage on this guy. I've got multiple M2s. I've got a 50 TB NAS on there. Not even a NAS, kind of like a JBot, it's USB, but this guy's a tank, like I said. So all I have to do is just RDP into this from my garage PC, should I need a little more uh, horsepower. So it makes it nice and easy, and again, with RDP wrap going, I can do that with multiple sessions, as you see here. Let's go to Users. And you'll see that I've got two sessions logged in at the same time and active. So it's up and going on the screens in the house. And then I'm obviously using a, a remote session here. It's pretty nice. Separate audio channels, everything like that. So my wife doesn't even know that I'm logged into the same PC at the same time. But by upgrading this, this little mini PC out here in the garage to 32 gigs of RAM and an M2, it, perf it performs very well, guys. So I don't know how often I'll need to... Um, remote into this one, but hey, it's there in case I need it. Yeah, guys, wanted to give you just a quick update and a tour of the, again, $130 all-in garage budget build. This is the HP Elite Desk G3 running Windows 11 Pro, 32 gigs of RAM with the i5. Let me know what you guys think. And again, the M2 drive, which I got for 20 bucks. So I went obviously super cheap on this, but I think it's I think it's well uh, money well spent. I think I got a lot of bang for the buck, in other words, on this one. What do you guys think? Have you built something for under, for around that same price, 130-ish dollars? If so, what'd you come up with? What are you using it for? All right, guys, like I said, if you haven't checked out the, uh, the garage tour, be sure to do that. Uh, I'll have some more content coming on the garage office build soon. Probably do some uh, Raspberry Pi stuff. Need to get the 3D printer up and going again so we can do some stuff with that too. All right, guys. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Till the next one, take care.